Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for our Elm Creek new player series for Farming Simulator 22. So, carrying on from yesterday's video, we have just finished our harvest and replanting. So in this field we've gone with soybeans, and over here we have gone with wheat. So the wheat's required for the chickens, so obviously the chickens have got nothing to eat, so we've got to give them some food uh, so this should yield us a decent amount of um, of wheat for that purpose so we are currently in April we're hanging on until June to sell our soybeans so currently we have 31,000 liters on hand so if we go and check the price of soybeans at the moment Peak prices in June of 3,783. So currently we're on the way up there. Uh, we haven't got any contracts that we're interested in doing at the moment, but if you have contracts to do on your map and you want to do them, feel free. Uh, I just tend to be very selective with the ones that I'm doing. So we're also on the hunt for a new tractor, new cedar, and a combine. So a bit of a shopping list, but we'll see if we can get there. All right, let's go to sleep. And... Basically, I'm expecting a growth state on each of the crops. We'll throw down some fertilizer and we will quickly check the uh, equipment store for uh, used vehicles. And then we'll move on ahead. So let's get our, let's get our, uh, which tractor we're going to use. Let's drop this off. So we've got our wheat there. It's already germinated. Yeah, we've got our soybeans over there that have germinated, so let's hook on to our... Oh, and last episode we purchased the uh, Case IH Draper Terraflex header, which is over there, and that's really improved our efficiency with the Deutzfar harvester. So let's just change our work width here, so L1, R3, I'm going to drop that down to 21 metres. Get in the middle here and we'll just hire a worker so we've got our helper buy function turned on so you can see our fertilizer spread has only got 80 liters in it however you can see our money is going down on this pass so that basically means that the helper um, is replenishing the fertilizer stock inside the tractor so we don't have to refill it manually so you can turn, it's called helper, if you're not sure what that is, I'll just quickly show you in the settings. So it is game settings, I believe. If we scroll down, AI workers, so we've got AI worker refill, fertilizer, and it's set to buy. So what that means is the AI worker will buy the required, uh, in this case, fertilizer, but it could be seeds, could be, could be whatever. Okay, let's change our work width to uh, 36 and that should get pretty much all the field. We're probably missing a little bit here. I think I do this every time. Yeah, I'm missing just that section. All right, let's check out vehicle sales. So we've got a low loader, actually. Renone drop deck. So not a bad price. Uh, Low loader is going to be good later in game to transport some of our equipment around. But we'll pass on that. We've got a sugarcane trailer. Which can be used for other purposes as well. We've got a forage harvester header. So none of those things are... None of those things are what we're looking for currently. So we're just going to move on. So let's zoom in a little bit here. So yeah, we're on the lookout for a tractor. All right, let's double check our price of soybeans so I don't forget to sell them. So you can see there we're on the up with the pricing 3,300. Uh, so we've still got another 500 odd dollars to go in terms of max price. So I think what we'll do is we will, so checking out the wheat here, 
50% fertilizer bonus. And we'll just quickly cruise over to the soybeans, make sure we've got the... So you can see there down the bottom, fertilized 50% and yield bonus of 73%. So you want to get your yield bonus up as, as close to pos as possible to 100. So that way you're getting maximum crop. Okay, let's go to sleep. So this should be June, so this should be peak price for the soybeans. So let's double check that. Goldcrest Valley is paying nearly four grand. Johnson's farmer market three thousand five hundred and ninety-seven. So that is pretty good. So we are gonna we are gonna we are to buy. So what do we got here? We've got a shallow cultivator. So that's not what we're after there. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to throw out another layer of fertilizer. So we'll go do this bottom field first. And then we're going to hook up the, the trailer and the, the other John Deere that we've got. Load up with some soybeans and we're going to drive it over to the cell point. So can use an AI worker to drive over there however you do run the risk of them crashing and losing your product which I really do not want to risk so I am going to drive it over there just to ensure we don't have any issues so let's grab this guy so very quickly and easily fertilize that field so we now should have a hundred percent Yep, so 100% fertilized, we're going to get a 95% yield bonus. The reason why we don't have 100% yield bonus is because we, have, we haven't done the rolling. So rolling is after you've planted, you basically roll the field to um, improve the seed to soil contact so you get better germination and therefore more yield. So let's get this guy underway. That should pretty much do all the all the field there. So while he's doing that, we will uh, L3 to start filling, and we're going to go find the soybeans. So this is probably going to take four trips. So while we're doing that, we might see if we can't get a contract underway just to maximise our time. So what have we got? Fertilising, harvesting. So a lot of harvesting contracts. Uh, we've got a bailing contract, which is so I'm going to pass on that. Okay, so we'll just leave him there. All right, so where are we going to go? So the contracts are good for teaching you how to use other pieces of equipment so definitely consider doing them I'll just leave them out because I don't they're not really my jam but uh, if they are piquing your interest by all means go, go for it uh, feed and grain south so I think we're going to go feed and grain south because it's a little bit closer and it's only roughly 100 120 dollars difference so feed and grain south is down on the south of the map so because we are going to probably do four trips here just want to get back and forth as quickly as possible so you can see it located by that green beam of light and if we zoom out on the map there it's the flashing blue down the bottom so obviously driving down you want to be wary of traffic obstacles and of course the train so we don't run into any issues with losing this load another thing you can do is cover the cover the load doesn't make any difference to how much you get for it stuff like that it's just there for the simulation aspect so you can see that there pretty cool animation and it's all tied down 
So I'm just going to leave it open because it doesn't really matter. So a pretty short trip down here actually, so I'm glad we chose this location as opposed to Johnson's Farmer's Market which is quite a bit further away. Now if I had a truck and trailer combination I'd just go to the best price because we can basically travel at 80 to 120 kilometers per hour depending on the truck that you've got. So the transit time's not an issue. So let's go get this overloading animation. So we should fetch a pretty good price here. This should be, this is really going to bump up our money uh, quite extensively. So 27,000, so we're probably looking to get 27,000 uh, per trailer load here. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive it back and I'll meet you there. We'll refill and then we'll drive it back down. So I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Here we are back at the farm for load number two. So let's uh, let's fill this up. So we're getting roughly, we're likely to get roughly close to 30 grand a load. So if we do four loads, 60, so we're looking at close to $120,000 in profit just here, which is going to be really fantastic. So pull that onto the main road here. And we'll head down this way. So once again, I'll drive this load down there. We'll unload it uh, together. And we'll see how much we get. So I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Alrighty, here we are down at Freeton Grand South for load number two. So it should be around that $27,000 mark. The tractor definitely needs a bit of a clean. It's very dirty. It's been putting in the work though. Alright, let's see what we end up with here. So we are getting some good funds here. This is this is really the payoff for all the work that we've done up until this point. Another twenty-seven thousand. Excellent. So basically, with every harvest, you build more and more momentum, and then you've just got to invest those profits wisely. 
so you can improve your efficiency time and time again. So we've still got probably two more loads here, so we're going to get we're going to probably crack that two hundred thousand dollar mark quite comfortably. So once again, I'll get that third load and I'll see you up there in a couple of minutes. Alright, here we are back again for load number three. So let's just double check how many we've got left. Okay, so fill the tool L3 15,000. So we can still do one more load after this. It just won't be 8,000 litres, it'll be just short. Alright, let's get underway. So with this load, that should give us close to 30,000. So that should take us over close to 200 and then the final load will probably be I would say 25,000 so I reckon we're going to end up with close to 220 230,000 dollars in total revenue after this um, harvest sale so once again I'll drive this down there and then we'll unload it and we'll, we'll see you down there so catch you in a minute We're coming in for load number three. So this has been our biggest payday so far. So after we do this third load, actually after we do the fourth load, we'll check in on the uh, finances to see how much we actually brought in. All right, so let's get this unloading. All right, let's see how much we get. Should be around the 27,000 mark again. So nice animation on the uh, trailer hydraulics there, eh? So hopefully we can crack the 200. Come on, and we've done it. Good stuff. Got right, another 27,000. Pretty happy with that result. All right, let's go back and get load number four. So this should be the last one, and then we'll do a bit of a check on how much we've actually brought in so I'll meet you back at the farm
Right, here we are back at the farm. Nice little trip up the main road. So it is really quite a nice drive down to that cell point, I must say. Good scenery. Alright, let's fill this up. So L3. Soybeans. Not quite a full load this time. Should I just double check this harvest? It hasn't got any soybeans in there. I'm fairly certain I've emptied it. No, we've got 79 litres, so let's go and dump that in. Actually, it won't pipe out just, just yet. Oh, I'm just going to have to move this trailer. Probably, actually what I'll do is I'll just pull out a little bit. Hopefully that animation will pick up. No, it's not going to. So just gives us a bit more space to unload this probably $10 worth of soybeans. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's head on over. So we'll go this way for something different this time. So it looks like we've got corn here. So this obviously is now ours. Field 50 has been, looks to be cultivated. And then there's a field over there that is also been prepared. So watch out for this traffic. Okay. You can really get to appreciate the uh, shifting and the gearbox. So I think this is a manual, tr manual transmission. Pretty cool. Alright, um, let's just drive it over there. I'm not going to cut this time. Because it's pretty short. Pretty short trip. I didn't want to do it for every trip. Because it's a bit monotonous, but... For the last one... I mean, look, at this, it's literally just there, so... Let's take in some of the scenery. Looks pretty cool. So I play on the PS5 console, as you probably as you can probably aware and can probably tell. And the graphics are pretty good. So just look at the water reflection there. Really awesome. Alrighty, let's head on through. So many areas to explore in this map too, like all the giants maps. Um, there's yeah, just so many points of interest, things to discover collectibles, that sort of stuff. Alright, let's... I really crashed into the lid there. Alright, last one. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna say around 24, maybe 23,000. So we can almost buy a, tra a brand new tractor outright here. 25,000. Cool. Alright, I'm going to drive this guy back manually. So we'll send him up to, out the front of the gas station like we normally do, because that's a pretty reliable place for them to transit to. So while that is happening, let's jump into our financial screen, which is... Uh, where is that? This one here. So, basically, this gives you your profit and loss for each month. So, you can see over in June here, we have sold $108,076 of, uh, of harvest income. So, that's our soybean. So, we've made $108,000 um, out of that little harvest of soybeans. So that was 30-odd thousand litres. Uh, tells you your fertilizer costs there. And your profit per month. So we've made 22000 in April. So that was from contracts. And I'm assuming... Sold vehicles. So that would have been the... That probably would have been the... Uh, Deutzva header. Yeah, that's what that was. So yeah. So we're up 228000 I'll just double check that we don't, we haven't got any land that we haven't uh, sold back to the 
to the map. So, no, we've still got field one, so that's all good. I'm just going to park this guy out of the way. Alright, so basically what we've got to do now is that's fully fertilised. That's our wheat. Got our soybeans over here that are fully fertilised. So we just check that our worker is... So I'll dismiss him. So that's good timing. And we're just going to park up here for the moment. Check our used vehicle sales so there's nothing there that we want. We've fertilised that field. We've fertilised this field. So I keep jumping into the build node just to quickly show an aerial view. Because on console this is all we've got. Uh, we are going to sleep now. Now we've got some oats we can sell at some stage. So I think that's going to be more of a December, December, November. Um, sale because so I think that's the best time to sell the oats for top dollar all right so that is another, that's got another growth state so of the soybeans let's check our growth map actually so still got a little ways to go uh, what's on field 47 actually looks like corn uh, we could probably harvest field 40 so we've got the cash for it so that'll give us some chicken food so I'm thinking we may do that this episode or we may do that next episode let's just check what's on sale okay nothing nothing that we really need so let's go and let's just check that it's actually ready to harvest which it is and it's definitely wheat, so I'm going to buy that. So 177,000 to buy. So I'm really just after the wheat in this case. So let's grab our Deutz for combine. We'll drive over there, get that wheat, give the chickens something to eat. Because basically every time we sleep, we're missing out on, on an opportunity to collect eggs as well. And the other thing too is. We want to start stockpiling those eggs so we can get basically maximum price. I think I'll park this header too close to the barn. That's why it's. There we go, it's stuck. Okay, let's see if I can't swing this around if they don't take out the water tower. Alright, I'm going to drive this over there, and I will meet you there. Alright, here we are at field 40. So let's hook this um, let's hook this header up. Alright, fold this up. So we'll get this lined up so we are uh, we're going to disable. So I think that's I think that's disabled. So let's just see what happens here. It doesn't really matter. I'm not going to be picking up the straw anyway. So yeah, it's actually just shooting it out the back. So it just makes it a little bit easier to drive over if we need it. All right, well, we're going to leave this episode here. So we're going to get this weed up. Then we are going to take it over and feed it to our chickens. And then we are going to still keep our eyes out for the tractor and the cedar that we're after. And we're going to go from there. So thanks for watching. If you like the content, consider subscribing. Leave me a comment if you've got any questions. 
Uh, like the video as well because that also helps me out a bunch. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.